<laughs> hey everybody, Mickey here with the Casual Swinger Podcast and CasualSwinger.com. So I'm without the beautiful Mallory here in the sunny beaches of Negril, Jamaica. Figured I'd get with you guys and tell you a little bit about my day yesterday. Hopefully you can hear me through this mask. Uh, certainly no sweat gets through it, if nothing else. But, uh, you know, it was an interesting day. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a lot of travel. And, of course, the resort is closed. So there's people here busily working. I'm going to post pictures for you guys of some of the things that we've seen. We've seen, we've seen amazing things here. There's so many changes happening while you guys aren't here. But just next week, Hedonism 2 is gonna reopen for you guys. It's gonna reopen with a lot of new changes and a lot of new updates. So I'm hoping you guys will hang in there with me for all of it. But for now, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was an interesting day. I landed in Montego Bay about 11.29 a.m. And the line, not kidding, was probably 350 people deep. It is a long line when two planes come in at the same time. Now today, somewhere between four and seven flights a day are landing in Montego Bay. But those four to seven flights a day, some of them come in at the same time, and that's what happened to me. That line was 350 people deep, and if I did not buy Club Mo Bay, uh, which I got courtesy of Rachel's Rascals, that Mo Bay got me to the front of the line. I was able to look like a celebrity, a rock star, a badass, whatever you want to say, but Club Mo Bay took me straight to the top. Now, it still took me about an hour and 15 minutes to go pretty much from the gate uh, where I came off the plane through immigration and through the various stations where I had to answer questions about my health along the way. The sort of questions I was asked included where I was going, would I be staying with a friend, would I be staying at a resort. Uh, they asked me about my health, where I'd been. They had asked me who I'd been in contact with, if I'd been in contact with anybody with COVID-19. They took my temperature at four different stations. They took my temperature when I got off the plane. They took my temperature again before I went out to get tested. They took my temperature again before I got in my transportation to come here. And they took my temperature one more time when I arrived over at the Point Village where we're staying pending the opening of Hedonism 2. So every stop along the way, they made me sanitize my hands. I sanitized my hands, I'm not kidding guys, seven times in the airport, whether it was someone spraying my hands with alcohol or in between each station, I sanitized my hands. I sanitized my hands when I got to the resort. I sanitized my hands on my way to my room. My hands are so sanitary, I think I could probably do just about anything with them and I'd be fine. Maybe a surgeon, I don't know. We'll figure something out, but they're sanitary. That said, uh, you know, some of the, the conversations were a little more intrusive, certainly than I'm used to. I mean, customs is always a little intrusive, so it's not that weird for us to have that going on. But they definitely had some questions about how long I was going to be here and if I was comfortable being quarantined, which that was the most important thing. They said, where you say you're going is the only place you're allowed to go. There will be no roaming. There will be no going into towns or cities. There will not, you won't be going to the shopping bazaar across the street. You're quarantined for 14 days when you come in from the United States, which means stay where you say you're going to be. Not a problem, I don't think. Wear a mask. Everyone you see here will be wearing a mask. Everyone is wearing a mask as an employee of the Hedonism too. And most people you encounter are wearing masks in and around town. But something you'll notice as you travel from the airport to here is that most of the citizens are not wearing masks. Mostly because they did such a good job of isolating themselves from the world. Westmoreland and Hanover districts, which are the two districts that kind of straddle in the grill and Hedonism, have a combined total of 11 cases, complete total 11 cases. So, and no active cases at all presently in Westmoreland where Hedonism 2 is located. Before I left the airport, I did go through another COVID test. That COVID test occurred outside the airport. Inside the airport, it was all questionnaires, conversation, talking to agents, telling them where I'm going, where I've been, who I've been in contact with, a lot of the same sort of questions. Every person that I came in contact with was in full PPE with a mask and a face shield. Interestingly enough, I noticed in the Miami airport, a lot of people were wearing face shields and masks at the same time. That seems to be a lot more common here in Jamaica than it was anywhere else. But I did see a few of them in the Miami airport and it was noteworthy. 
Now, something else that was fairly noteworthy is inside the Miami airport, I counted 345 people as they went past me. Of those 345 people, 263 of the 345 people were either wearing a mask improperly, hanging off the side of their ear, touching their face, or had it pulled down beneath their nose. So if you're going to wear a mask, you should probably do it right. I mean, let's get it. Let's be honest. Anyway, guys, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't something that you have to worry about. It wasn't something you have to panic over. It was fairly straightforward. It was fairly straightforward. It was not difficult. The test was intrusive. But I think as of July 1st, and I don't have this on good authority yet because no one will give me an affirmative answer, that there's almost no way these tests can continue. With 300 people in a line like it was, it takes hours for those people to process through, including testing. There's no way they can increase the volume of flights to a level that's tenable for the tourism industry in Jamaica and continue testing the way they are. So something's got to give. And I think it'll probably be testing. It will more than likely be testing before you leave home. Maybe get your own test done. Uh, but it, it was intrusive. They did stick a swab up my nose. Uh, and I felt like maybe they rubbed the bottom of my eyeball a little bit, but she was nice about it, and she kissed me after. Everything that happened after that was a traditional Jamaica experience, including my driver meeting me with a giant hug and a welcome home. Now, that hug, of course, probably violated some rules, but we've been friends a long time. And that welcome home extended all the way to hedonism. It extended when we pulled up here so I could stop in and start my interviews. Everything about this place is the same place you remember. The difference is these people need jobs. These people need us here. They want us here. And they're doing everything in their power. I'm going to show you as I walk around today with some videos and photographs some of the things that this resort is doing to ensure your safety, including encouraging social distancing, including wearing masks, and multiple sanitation stations around the resort. I'm going to show you how socially di social distance stations are well, set up, I mean, right down to the room I'm sitting in right now. The tables are eight feet apart, easy. The spots in the floor are eight feet apart, easy. The sanitation stations are all over the place. And every single person I see working is sanitizing something. Jamaica's ready for us to come back, folks. It's not going to be the same experience in the airport, and it might not even be an easy experience. But they're ready, and it's coming your way July 1st. So stay tuned for more videos from Casual Swinger and me in this sexy mask where I'm going to show you guys what's going on here at Hedonism 2, and then we're going to put it all in an article for ASN Magazine. But uh, for my friends out there with Rachel's Rascals who are paying attention and sticking with me for this video, stay tuned, and thank you very much for your time. We'll see you soon. <laughs>